Good morning, everyone. It is May 4th, 2014. It's currently 9.22 a.m. And it is pretty cloudy out there this morning. We have broken to variable to overcast sky, co sky cover, cloud cover, should I say. Uh, temperatures this morning range from the lower to mid 50s over the interior. We even have a few upper 40s mixed in there. To mid to upper 50s right along the coast. We have just hit 60 degrees in Atlantic City. And we have a nice southwesterly flow with some disturbances moving through. And, of course, that means there's a threat for a few isolated showers. Not a washout today. Just like yesterday, there's a threat for a shower, even an isolated thunderstorm. And as I've been describing, these thunderstorms will be capable of producing a brief heavy downpour for about 15 to 30 minutes. And then it's out of here. So, overall, we're dealing with what I've been expecting for, for this spring, which is an unsettled volatile spring weather pattern with disturbances moving through, scattered showers. Right now we have temperatures that are near to slightly below normal for this time of year. We will have one very warm day this week, which is on Friday, where we're going to have a warm front move through and temperatures are going to spike. But between now and then, we're going to be dealing with these bouts of showers, variable cloud cover, uh, some of these showers will have heavy downpours, and temperatures pretty much averaging near to slightly below normal through the forecast period. On the latest radar, you can clearly see, as we zoom out and look at all the eastern United States, kind of get a better picture of what's happening here. One disturbance, this has been an upper level low. Here's another disturbance that's approaching. Here's a third disturbance, and there's another one out over the Rockies. And they're all rotating around an upper level low over the Hudson Bay. So these disturbances with their showers are going to be moving through the region. Again, they're not terribly organized. There's now a widespread rainfall event. But as they move through and, and start to weaken as they move through, they'll be capable of some brief heavy downpours. And as we zoom into the northern mid-Atlantic, you can clearly see these showers are moving across, but they're having a hard time staying together as they move across the uh, Appalachian Mountains. See these showers are moving into northeastern Pennsylvania in northwest New Jersey are also starting to fall apart. And we know to have another band of showers that is moving through the Mohawk River Valley that will approach portions of northwestern Connecticut and the southern and central Hudson River Valleys. So overall, again, variable cloud cover with a threat for a few isolated showers. Temperatures today will rise into the mid to upper 60s for highs and then pretty much fall back off into the mid 40s for low by tomorrow morning. On the infrared satellite picture, you can clearly see, again, here's our subtropical jet stream out here over the Atlantic, remaining far away from this upper level pattern, which is with the polar jet stream. So you see you have these disturbances rotating around the upper level low, and they're going to continue to move through the region over the next several days, but stay disconnected from the main moisture source, which is clearly our subtropical jet stream here, with plenty of moisture, by the way. Some very impressive rainfall out over the Atlantic. Hey, keep it there. We don't need any more rain at this point after seeing uh, rainfall amounts of about one to two months worth of rainfall over portions of the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area over the past several days. So when we take a look at the water vapor satellite picture again, you can kind of see a complete picture here. Here's one upper level low over the uh, Gulf of Alaska dropping down towards the coastal waters of the uh, Pacific Northwest. This is sending disturbance after disturbance from the Pacific into North America. And then we have our other upper level low over the Hudson Bay that is rotating these disturbances through the Great Lakes into the Northern Atlantic and through New England. Again, no major storms, just nuisance disturbances that will produce isolated to widely scattered showers every day. And as a result, going to have to be on guard for those showers to interrupt your outdoor plans, but it will not be a washout over the next several days. Just, you know, every afternoon you got to watch out for a shower. So let's take a look at the latest model guidance using the European model guidance. Again, for this evening, look for some scattered cloud cover. That's the clouds start to break up. Isolated showers possible. Temperatures will be falling through the 50s into the mid to upper 40s for lows by tomorrow morning. For Monday... Same story, rinse, repeat, disturbances moving through the region, uh, variable cloud cover, isolated to widely scattered showers possible, temperatures will rise into the mid to upper 60s for highs throughout the region. Then on Tuesday, 
Same scenario again. Disturbances moving through the region, scattered to variable cloud cover, isolated to widely scattered showers. A little bit drier atmosphere here, so I think the showers will be more isolated in nature. Temperatures on Tuesday will range from the mid 40s for lows and upper 60s to lower 70s for highs. On Wednesday, we'll have a warm front start to approach. Look for increasing clouds throughout the day. Scattered showers will be possible towards the evening hours. Temperatures on Wednesday will range from the mid to upper 40s for lows, upper 60s to lower 70s for highs. On Thursday and Friday, a warm front will slowly move through the region. Look for periods of showers and some thunderstorms. Some of those thunderstorms could be severe in nature. On Thursday, temperatures will range from the upper 40s to lower 50s for lows and upper 60s to lower 70s for highs. Then on Friday, as that warm front blows through, temperatures will warm significantly into the mid to upper 50s for lows and upper 70s to lower 80s for highs. Now, if this warm front stalls out, then temperatures will remain much cooler, closer to 60 degrees, because you have a stronger easterly wind, you have periods of rain. So we're going to have to watch out exactly how fast and how far north that warm front gets on Friday to allow these temperatures to really spike as what's being forecasted at this time. And then finally, on Saturday, next Saturday, Sky cloud cover will return. High pressure will type, try to take hold. We're going to just watch out for a few scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms here. Temperatures cooler, mid to upper 50s for lows and lower to mid 70s for highs. That is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. Follow the latest weather information at nynjpaweather.com and nynjpaweather on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and LinkedIn. Have a wonderful day, and as always, stay safe out there.